Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate. My name is Hulk and today we're continuing the legendary blind playthrough on Grandmaster Mode, Day 777. As the Stun Brothers uh, will emerge to their first mission, I have talked about uh, that particular um, combination. Uh, the new team that we're running for the next few missions and uh, if you're interested in the details of their loadout feel free to look at the last episode at the end uh, there you have the detailed explanation base idea is we want to stun stuff then we want to execute it and with that execution we're going to get extra AP so let's see if my theory crafting has worked out well and if this is actually going to work I recognize this place. Abraxius. A showcase for the worst the Ministorum has on offer. It was not long ago I executed the governor and his entire staff for heresy. And yet the bloom has found the means to insinuate itself and fester. We must destroy its source below. Look at that. Lots and lots of armor. Praise the only one who doesn't have big fat armor is one gnome to rule them all. So we need to get two bloom spawns out of the way one on the right hand side and one up here we're taking that one up here first i distinctly remember this map taking position. good we're moving up Of course, the Stun Brothers do have a bit of a problem engaging, but once we have engaged, uh, we should be fine. On my way, none may hide from our warp sight. All right. Uh, do we need to do any pre-buff? No. Yes, Litany of Hate. Embrace death and service to our enemies. There we go. Nice. And I think we are generally fine. What is your will? Which lets us. Which lets us teleport in, I would say. There we go. Foul intruders. They will not prevail. Good, we got reinforcements incoming. to engage Commander. all right interesting so i think we first of all are going to extract the bloom seeds this is coming with me you have some and you have some another foul seed claimed Secondly, how about uh, pushing you a bit forward, so... Good. Now you guys are standing closer together. Uh, let's see, we got uh, 7 and 6. This guy has 10. 10. Okay, cool. Now, we want the Empyrean Brain Mine. We're down to three and three. Uh, might as well 
star. Uh, that's just three. That's not five. Um, I am here to serve. See, that's a good one. One. Very good. Um, I'm here to serve. Paladin. Strikes him down to three. If we are using the librarian. That will deal three stun. We don't need to warp charge it to five. Uh, we're okay with a well, five uh, would be the other alternative. No, we're okay with uh, three stun because then how much does he have left? Uh, the Emperor lights our path. Just double checking like this. Four strike is three and then three stun should be zero. Okay, I'm still trying to get used to it. Let's save some willpower uh, points. You are disrupted. My blade is yours. Four strike. Yeah, that's exactly what I was looking for. You will heal. Standing ready. Good, we're moving up, we're confirming the strike, and that should be a kill, which executes. Nice. You will rise again. As you can see, he got two points back. And we are hitting. Everybody also... Got a will, uh, will point back. This time you are executing. Oh, the hammer. Look, he's back to four. Holy, that is good. For this. <laughs> That's too much fun. Okay. Whoa, the AP are coming in. Knocks him back. I like that knockback. Good. We do have that ranged bolter, right? And I want to test out if that works. So look at that. Just a normal shot already. Already brings him to the brink of uh, execution. At which point we are coming in. Just out of curiosity, how good is our cyborg? This is a crazy combination. Again, stunned. Empty. My brain is ever ready. Mm. 
moves up. <laughs> this is. Uh, I shouldn't laugh, but that is way too much fun. Chaplin moves down. Spend some of his like ludicrous high amount of AP to get this guy down. Uh, I am the Emperor's Fury. This team seems to be strong, but then again, you never know until, no demon shall avoid until you're meeting face. enough enemies whether or not this team Soul is going to, to be any good. We slay the darkness. What I can say from my first impression is It might have been a good idea, balancing-wise, to put an upper cap on that execution, on that execution mechanic. Because holy smokes, did we just get a lot of uh, points back? I will fight from here. This is your will. One thing that I will say is I believe that yes, this team might or the enemies might have an advantage when you're not having enough base stun available. But we're going to find out whether or not that concern is uh, warranted. Some, uh, sometimes you just kill them faster. In. And that's a triple hit. Crazy. You have been judged. Here. Taking position. Yeah, sure. I mean, look. The range is ever ready. I think we don't even need a lot of extra strikes. Just that amount of execution is crazy. Yeah. You have been 
judged. Okay, you command. Here. Charge. The enemy is wounded. Ah! I am the wrath of Zack. My blade is yours. Straight up kill them. It's crazy. The amount of damage is quite high. Oh, that was uh, unfortunately melee. Ammunition depleted. Yes, Commander. I'm here to serve. I am freeze ready. up the room. At your service. Feed the kill to the to the librarian, but whatever. Okay, first assessment. Team seems to be very strong. If I would add regular teleportation into that, that'll be crazy. The hammer itself is awesome. So much stun damage. Your orders? <laughs> the librarian? Haven't yet seen uh, him dealing enough damage with his bolter, but then again, we gave him a stun bolter that has moderate damage but a lot of extra stun. And one thing that definitely worked out incredibly well was stun overall. The Aegis shield us. Out of curiosity, can we somehow teleport in there? This might allow it. Oh, that there, yeah, that's where I want to teleport. All right, fantastic. Wait, we already had been in combat? No. We should have started a new round of combat. These heretics there will suffer the ultimate punishment. I was about to say, wow. Good. Directly three stun for all of you.
Then we're following up with a big fat brain mine. Followed by a big fat brain mine. Followed by a nice little psychic, uh, psychic shriek. This combination is so weird and strong and weird and very, very strong. So we need an extractor school. Give me that. This is coming with me. This thing here is not stunnable. Uh, let me try something else. Um, you kill that. No match for the Emperor's chosen. And this should be a straight up kill because we have the nice little knockback as well. Okay. Alright, back. Sorry for the background noise. So, we have uh, just seen what happens. What is your will? Uh, Jiro will get that big, fat, juicy kill. And followed into. Followed into another. Big fan kill. You have been judged. I wonder why he was stunned, wasn't he? he might have taken Unleashed. some damage. Careful here, Saiken, as you might push him over the edge. No, just barely managed to do that. Not to do that, rather. That team is strong. Praise the Emperor. And in terms of killing, let's just finish it here. All designated targets are destroyed. Teleportation initiating. No match for the Emperor. I mean, chosen. that was a demonstration by itself. I mean, you could maybe combine this team with a melee madness. In a nutshell, stunning always works. Wow. What a massive, massive, massive bit of damage. All right, first impression, great team. So, uh, more crit, more crit damage, no thank you. This one here is 5 damage and when this weapon uh, crits, hmm, an extra AP. And you can have that twice a turn, thrice a turn actually, uh, with the passive abilities. That's not a bad weapon. 
I think we're going to select that. I like the wording, but I don't like it being level 2 instead of level 3. Pass a slot. It's interesting that I'm finding so many really good items on level 2 instead of level 3. Passive slots are great. They're actually fantastic. But we already have a passive slot. I think we're sticking with Sorrow and that's okay. Everybody got uh, got promoted. All right, crit damage and auto reload. That seems legit. All right, let's do the rest of the level up. So, Chaplain gets that extra equipment slot. That is very good. Purifier hasn't really dealt enough damage at the moment. But we might be able to go for some more melee damage. I don't know if that is valid, but this unstoppable conflation is something that I'm interested in. And our librarian, good damage with the Psy Bolts. Very good damage. I think we're going to take this. And we didn't want to take uh, teleportation, also not AOE damage. Could influence warp search, I guess. Uh, we could influence the warp search. We could put fortress out there if we needed to. Unlimited range smite is not bad, but we didn't want to use the same skills as before. So let's take those focus abilities up there. Cool. Like I said, first impression, ultra strong team. Blue seats here, which I like. Purple seeds there, which I also like, but I think we're going for blue seeds. Yeah, we're going for blue seeds. one of these reapers has been banished from the materia. A commander's first victory against a greater denizen of the warp warrants a special commendation. Given your present circumstances, I will allow you one unrestricted request from the armory. Hmm. I think we already have a couple of really good weapon, um, melee weapons. Let's get a ranged weapon. From the vaults of Titan. I hear whispers, the sibilant murmurs of demon kind, taunting me. Guidance, turn off your audio receptors. We cannot risk demonic infestation on the edict. They are mere words, Dominus. Ah, Commander, I have attuned the Codex once more. This Reaper can't hide from us now. Excellent, I will inform Ektar. We must ready our forces. We will be ready. All right, so let's continue to move here. Another influence. Servitor allocation is almost. It's 
That's the fourth intervention. What is Our even happening? Our demand more than crude efficiency, Commander. I have grown concerned of late that your brothers fail to manifest the full glory. The Grand Master is correct. We will enrich our brothers' spirits by purifying this reality of war. Okay, what do we have going for us? I think quest, complete a glorious deed. Yeah, okay, no, not a problem. We're going to do exactly that. And that brings us to the end of the episode. <clears throat> As we are going to do this year, the next time. As we're going to do this year, the next time. We got ourselves one weapon, and I just want to check that out uh, with our purifier. Loadout, ranged weapon. I think it was a Psy Cannon. High damage, pinned on enemies. That's interesting. And a good crit. All right. Nothing that influences us now. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate your viewership and see you in the next iteration of Warhammer. Bye bye.